Well, tonight, we're at the Olive Hill High School. This is a high school that was built in 1929. Not many places have as much energy as a school. Disembodied voices, footsteps, shadow figures, and even doors opening and closing on their own. These shadow figures are said to rush up on people and run down the hallways. Oh, okay, they both go off. Yeah. As soon as we go away from there, both of those Wait, things go that's, off. That was the, the run. run. Music box Music behind box. you again. Yeah. Music box behind you again. Is that a voice? It sounded like a male voice up here. It was like a single word. I couldn't tell what it said. We're down there, and then we just heard what sounded like the music box, but the music box didn't go off, and there's not even a millimeter down there. Now it's back down there. Yeah. What is going on down here? All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Tonight, we are down here in Kentucky. We're at the Olive Hill High School. Now, this location is another blue collar paranormal location, so we're gonna link all their stuff down below if you guys wanna check this place out for yourself. But this is a high school that was built in 1929. That's a pretty long history. Yeah, it would serve as a high school all the way until 1971, when it actually transitioned over to an elementary school. They had built a new high school, so they moved everybody out and brought the younger kids in. Now, it would serve as an elementary school all the way until 1994. In 1998, the mayor of Olive Hill actually purchased the high school and then resold it to the Olive Hill Historical Society and uh, it sat abandoned for a couple years as they started to get some grants to restore the high school to its former glory. Yeah, now after they've done some work on it, it's absolutely beautiful again in here. And it's actually a community center now. So they have a bunch of different programs that run in here. There's a public library upstairs and a bunch of other things that happen. But it is relatively new to the paranormal scene. We're actually only the third team that's been in here to investigate. It still has a lot of claims though. Our friend Kalani, when he filmed here, actually caught a disembodied scream in the basement of this location. But this location is known to have disembodied footsteps, voices, doors opening and closing, and shadow figures throughout the halls of this school. Now, one of the reported entities that is here is actually a principal from back in the day. He's tends to be very, very strict, very stern. He would make the kids walk on one side of the hallway going up to go one direction and the other side going back. He said, if you ended up having to be on the other side of the hallway to go the other way, he didn't care if you had to walk outside to turn around. You weren't allowed to just cross the hall so a lot of weird rules that he had yeah. and people say he's still here trying to you know oversee the school we did a live stream here with Marshall and uh, we seem to get some interesting activity that they're almost scared of someone we think it may have been the principal so hopefully we can make contact with him tonight but there's also reports of a uh, gentleman who unfortunately lost his life on the steps of this school back in 2010 and his name has come through uh, during investigations so maybe we can make contact with him as well yeah we're not gonna uh, say his name out loud right now we're not gonna bring him up it is still obviously a, a fresh case um, it was a murder that took place on the property um, but his name has come through so we don't know if we're gonna run into him here tonight um, we don't know if we're gonna run into the principal tonight or if it's any of these children spirits that are still said to run around here I mean this place was very important to a lot of people I mean right. it was a school for a very very long time not not many places have as much energy as a school. Right. So that's something that I'm thinking really could play a factor in this activity, but these shadow figures are said to rush up on people and run down the hallways. And yeah, Marshall and uh, Jada from Blue Cow Paranormal were actually called in by the library because of the amount of activity that they were experiencing. So it's a newer location to the paranormal, but there's still a lot of claims. So I'm just excited to grab our stuff, get in there, and kind of see what we can uncover here at Olive Hill tonight. Yeah, absolutely. The last few schools that we've done here on the channel have been incredibly active. So I'm excited to see what we get here because this place is just massive. So I think we just need to get into it and see what they have in store for us. Let's do it. All right, guys, so we moved into the main hallway here. So we have equipment blanketing Already this entire hallway. Off. Yeah. What even is that? Is that the... It's the REM temperature down there? I don't know why it's doing that, though. Yeah. That's such a weird noise. Can you step away from that for a second so it stops, please? You step back, it'll stop making that noise. I don't know if I, I've ever heard... That's like a weird, like... I don't even know how to describe yeah. that, you know? Step back, please, so it stops making that noise. All right. All right. Well, anyway. <laughs> Said, psych. <laughs> psych. Can you step away for a second? Come down here. We have a couple of other devices set up. You're, feel free to use them. Just want to cross from that table by the lockers that lights up and plays music if you step in front of it. Could you do that one instead? Anyway, I was gonna say we have equipment blanketing this entire hallway because we're not really sure where they're gonna to wanna to lead us. Um, so we have REM pods, millimeters, uh, the static dome, music, music box, box at the end of the hallway yeah. down there. Uh, so yeah, we're just gonna hop in. We're DR60s too, yep. we're gonna do some. These guys, so these lockers here, these are all the original lockers. So when the school finished getting built, they didn't have enough money left over to build all the lockers. So they actually had the shop class kids go through and make all the lockers for yeah. the school, which is pretty cool. 
Very unique. So I said that earlier in the live and somebody said, um, it's not child labor if it's shop class. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> wild that's another thing too if you guys don't already follow us on all the social medias click the links down below give us a follow because we do live streams from a lot of these locations we do that that's what we do it's factual can you set off one of these devices we have set up in the hallway you touch the top of them they're going to light up they're going to make some noise all they do is let us know that you're here my name is dylan this is steve oh music, music box. box okay welcome you can join us it's all right i'll stay in the front of it are you excited that we're here? Talk to you? Is this a student? If you went to this school, can you step in front of that device again so that it lights up and plays music? Is this the principal? We've been told you're kind of strict. You like to keep an eye on things around the school, even though it's not in operation anymore. What the fuck was that? Like a, sound like a footstep almost? I couldn't tell. It came from that way. Yeah. Hello? Can you open one of these doors right here? These devices we have set up are for you. They're not going to hurt you. They just allow us to talk to you. I know you've only had a couple people come in here to try to talk to you, but we can't see you and we can't hear you most of the time. We just want to ask you a few questions about what it was like to go to school here or to work here. Are you willing to talk to us? Can you set off one of these devices or make a really loud noise so we know that you're here? I'm going to ring a school bell. Oh, let's see what that does. Let's see. Class is almost over for the day. You ready to be done? You can come out in the hall. That scared me so bad. Did you hear that? There's something down there. It was yeah. literally down there. It sounded like it was on the door. That sounded like it was right on the door. Yeah. We're playing the school bell and it sounds like somebody's moving a door. Yeah, moving through the door. They're like, <laughs> better not be late. We're getting out. Yeah. Well, that was the thing. They said that the, the he was wicked strict. hated. Yeah. Hated kids being late. And that's when he would make them walk up and down the hall only right. on one side. Maybe it's him coming to check. See if there's any kids out in the, out in the hallway still. We're yeah. in the hallway. We are. He's still in school. Are we going to be late for class? I'm new here. I was transferred. Where do I have to go? He's got to find the third grade classroom. That's crazy. That was behind us, that yeah. Way, over by the other doors. So it was like they just walked through yeah. the hallway. Because that one, the, the door, the mel meter, and now down here. Yeah. Are you leaving for the day? Are you done with class? That's that back, back down there. here. Yeah. It's routed. As always, yeah. It's literally like there's just people walking at both ends. Are you confused as to why we're here? Or nervous, maybe? We're friends with Marshall and Jada. We're allowed to be here. I'm gonna knock, can you knock back for me? Yeah? Hmm. Something like movement, like footsteps. Can you come join us down here in the middle of the hallway? Just walk this way. I heard that one, it's yeah. There. We're gonna be in the school for a while tonight. We're gonna move around a little bit. We understand it probably takes a lot of energy try to use these devices or show yourself to us. If you want to, you can drain the batteries of our devices. That helps you out. Are you happy that they're restoring the school? It's not abandoned anymore, getting vandalized? It's not moving. 
Some movement. Some movement. It was like down there again, yeah. yeah. Let's go down this way a little bit. Because we're hearing a lot of footsteps and stuff. Right. And they're all seeming to be coming from down here. There was like that one knock on the door behind us the other way. Right. But most of the stuff seems like it's down here. Can, yep. you, can you step out in the hallway here so that this music box goes off? If you step out here, it just lights up and plays a song. That's all it does. You able to do that? Or if you have enough power, enough energy, can you open one of these doors? We're not going to get you in any trouble. We just want to talk to you for a little bit. Learn more about the school. If you want, you can come up and touch this device again that's on the table right here. Just lets us know that you're here and you can hear our voice. Are you scared because we're new? New people in the school you don't recognize? Do a couple of EVPs? Yeah. All right. Let's, uh, let's do one here. Let's do a quiet one. We have these devices in our hands. All they do is allow us to hear your voice a little bit easier, okay? They're not going to hurt you. We're not going to hurt you. So we're going to let you talk now. So come near us. Come as close as you can and speak into the top of these devices. I have one and Dylan has one, okay? Get as loud and as clear as you can. Speak right into these, okay? We're gonna give you the floor. We're not gonna say anything. We're gonna count to three, and then you come up here and give us any message you want, okay? Ready? Yep. One, two, three. One, two, three. Let's see if these kids got anything they want to say. Yeah, or the principal. Hopefully not. <laughs> There's another noise down there. There's something on here, too. It honestly sounds like the beginning. It says like there's no kids. I heard kids for there's sure. There's no kids. Something today. There's no kids. Something today. I can't make it out. No. There's no kids. Something today. And then there's nothing really after that. Interesting. There's no kids something to that. I mean, if they're cognizant that this isn't a functioning school anymore, right. they're like, there's no kids here. Well, you know? also, it was abandoned for right. a number of years. Kids were breaking, people were breaking in here. There was vandalism, there's, you know, whatever going on in here. Right. Who knows what happened in here, yeah. right? Who knew, who knows? Who knows? Who knows uh, what they were doing in here. Yeah, that's true. So, let's see. It's like the same voice. Play that, yeah, play that back. That sounds like they're right there. Like that's like they're right there. Play it back. Yeah, they're right, they're right there. there. I can't make out anything else after that. So there's no kids something today. Right. And then they're right there. But I mean, that's consistent with what the equipment was, you know, right. kind of giving us. Right. Um, it seems like they're almost standing to the side, standing right. at the end of the hallway, like they're over there. Right. Like, what are they doing? Right. You know, like there's no kids here today. There's not supposed to be kids here today. Right. Weird. Can you make a noise for us? Another loud noise. Bang on the wall. Stop your feet. Yell. Set off one of these devices. School's out for the day. Come on out. That was behind us. That was another footstep. That was right behind us. You could hear like the, like, the bo like both of it though. Like, you know, like the heel and then the toe. Right. It was like, it was right back there. You gonna leave without saying goodbye? I don't know you. 
Yeah. <laughs> Heading out. Excuse out, brother. We're going to move. We're going to go somewhere else in the building and talk to some other people. Do you want to come with us? I find it interesting, too, though, that that stuff stopped as soon as we came down here. Right. That's what I mean, though. They're, yeah. you know, keeping their distance. Let's go back down this way a little bit. Yeah. We'll step down here, okay, before we move. We'll come down here a little bit. If you want, set off one of those devices down there for us again, okay? If, if you wanted us a little bit farther away. If we were too close, that's okay. I'm sorry. Just let us know. We'll give you some space. We're going to move, though, okay? We're going to head to another part of the building. If you do want to follow us, feel free to. If it's easier to speak to us somewhere else, music box. As soon as we come down here, the yeah. music box goes off. Like, it's following us. Though. Right. That literally, okay, so we say, are we too close to you? Are we bothering you? Let's step down. And they both, okay, they both go off. Yeah. As soon as we go away from there, both of those Wait, things go that's, off. That was the, the REM. REM. Yeah. The actual REM just went off. Someone just, yeah, yeah, it's that's pinging. The, yeah. That is pinging. So we just said, if we're too close to you, we'll step away. Right. We come down here, the music box and the REM and the temperature all go off right away. I mean, that's exactly where we were standing, though. So it's like we walked over there and they just backed 100%. up. They're like, and then as soon as we come back down here, it goes right back to going off again. Yeah. Okay, are you following us? Are you coming down the hall? It's fine if you are. You're not in any trouble. Thank you for setting those off. You're doing great. A plus. <laughs> like, you are not a teacher here. <laughs> How do you know? I'm a sub. <laughs> Mr. Steve. <laughs> we'll give you space, if that's what you want. But we're gonna move now, so come with us, okay? Ready? Yeah, let's, let's go. All right, guys, so we moved to a different area now. This is known as the dungeon or the cage. Um, basically, we're underneath the stage from the auditorium. So they have clothes in here for like their plays and stuff, but this area gets a lot of weird activity, disembodied voices, footsteps heard walking outside and down the hallway here in the, in the lower levels. Yeah. Uh, the music, music box, box behind us in what is known as the cage. Just like when we started in the hallway though. I mean, immediately when we walk in, we start talking and the voices start going, going off. off. Yeah. Can you set that off again? Step in front of it, so plays that song, please. I about jumped out of my skin. I forgot it was in there. <laughs> Marshall was saying too, this is the first spot he ever investigated when he came to this school. Yeah. And it's always consistently been active. Yeah. So I'm excited to see what we get. So we have the music box in there, obviously the REM pods over there. We also have the nope rope and a REM pod on the stairs, uh, Melmeter, I mean, and uh, the cat ball as well. Yep. Um, so we're just gonna see, and we have the static dome over by the other staircase down to the, the basement level. So we're gonna see what we can get in here. When we did our live stream earlier, we did have some cool stuff. So we kind of yeah. set things up in a very similar way. And obviously the music box is already going off. And so. if you guys were in the live stream, the balloon is at the top of the stairs just like it was in the live. I so. did see a shadow up there during the live too. Yeah. Underneath the doorway, it looked like somebody had walked by and there was, there was nobody else in the building. Right. So it was pretty strange. Can you set off one of these devices we have set up for you? We were just here not too long ago with Marshall. If you're the same entity, the same spirit, you should recognize us. If you're back there in, in the cages area, can you step in front of that device again so it lights up and makes noise? Play some music? You just did it a minute ago. Nothing we have down here is going to hurt you. We'd like to have a conversation with you about the operation of the school, your life here, why you're still here. Is that something you're willing to do? Have a conversation with us? If you're either up this staircase or down the stairs to the basement, can you make a noise? Just let us know where you are. We'll give you space. We know you guys don't want us too close to you. That's why we have these devices spread out across the room. If you want to set something off, we won't walk towards you. That makes you feel more comfortable. We'll give you some room. We'll give you some space. We just want to know that you're here and that you can hear our voice. So whatever's easiest for you that lets us know that we're okay with. If you want to touch one of us, show yourself, scream, run, move a door, whatever's going to be easiest for you. Music right box. behind me. Yeah. Right behind me. Are you in this room behind me? You moving around? It's okay if you are. You're not going to get in trouble. We're not going to tell on you. We just want to have a conversation for a little bit. 
Are you the same person from upstairs that we were talking to in the hallway? If we're too close to that device and he wants to back away a little bit. Okay. Immediately, I yeah. I said. All right, we'll step okay. back a little bit. Sorry, we didn't mean to intimidate you. Come over here a little bit. That's interesting. Very standoffish. Yeah. Immediately. Very hesitant. Uh, but again, it's still so new to them. Yeah, that's true. Are you confused as to why people come in here? They set up all these devices and they try to talk to you for hours on end. Can you hear that? Yeah. For hours on end. Can you hear that? Yeah. For hours on end. Can you hear that? Yeah. That was upstairs. That one sounded like it was on one of those doors. Come here. I'm hearing faint talking. Talking? Yeah, listen, listen, listen. What do I hear now? No. It was very faint. It was a few words. It sounded like two people, like a muffled conversation. Like male and female, male, male. I couldn't tell. It was just two voices. Yeah. It was very, very faint. Hello? If you're out in the hallway, if you're up in the auditorium, come down under the stage. We have some devices set up. We just want to talk to you for a little bit. Or if you're in the cages area, we have that music box set up and a couple red lights near the entrance of the cage. If you interact with these devices, we can ask you yes or no questions. It's like right above us. There's a footstep directly above us. It's like right above us. There's a footstep directly above us. It's like right above us. There's a footstep directly above us back in the hallway where we just were. Yeah. That's in the same area where we just were. Like somebody's if, walking around. Right. If you're coming down here to join us, feel free. These purple lights we have set up on the stairs, all they're going to do is change color when you walk by them. If you can hear us and you're upstairs, can you stomp your feet? Music box Music behind box. you again. Yeah. Music box behind you again. Is it hard to set that off? Are you struggling to manifest or cross in front of it enough to set it off? Is this a teacher? The principal? Are you hiding from the principal? Is that why you're down here? What was that? It sounded like, you didn't hear that? It sounded like a chair like dragged above us. No, I didn't hear that. It was that. a loud thud, yeah. No, I didn't hear it, and then the music box went off. Yeah. So you are hiding from the principal? I'm going to take one of those red paws and put them up towards the top of the stairs. Okay. Because we were getting decent stuff with that earlier today. Right. So I'm going to move this, okay? This is going off. As soon as I say that, yeah. that starts going off. I got to step by you for a second, okay? I'm sorry. Don't mind me. I'm gonna come back down now, okay? I just put another device up there. It works very similar to that one on the bottom. If you get close to it, wave your hand in front of it, touch the top of it, it just lights up, makes a little bit of noise, okay? Is that something you can do for us? See, that was another thing too. I feel like a lot of this stuff could be residual here. Right. Right? As a, at a school, you get the music box, like somebody's just walking around. Upstairs, people walking back and forth. They seemed yeah. a little more intelligent upstairs, though. Yeah, for sure. Definitely a lot of residual activity in a school, though. Yeah. Especially when that was in operation for so long. Yeah. You know? Is there anything you want to tell us? Do you have a message about your time here? Either as staff, as a student. We'd love to hear your story. In a little while, we're going to go into the auditorium and try to talk to some people. Do you like the auditorium? Do you spend a lot of time in there? We see they have a lot of plays coming up. Do you go up and do you watch the plays? Even today? You do some TR60? Yeah, we can try. Ask some questions? Yeah. So we, did a, we did one down here earlier. And we got something weird. Yeah. When we were on the live stream. So let's, uh, let's do one of those. Yeah, try it out. Yeah. Let's see what happens. Let's ask them some questions. Let's get right into questions, I think. Yeah. All right, we're going to ask you some questions, okay? We have these devices that we used earlier. Okay, we each have one. All you got to do is get close to them. Speak as loudly and as clearly as you can into the top of these devices in our hands, okay? 
We'll be able to hear you. We're going to ask you a few questions. Ready? Yep. One, two, three. Is the principal here? Can you see all the renovations they've done to the school? What year did you graduate? Do you like having people in here trying to talk to you, or does it scare you? Can you say Olive Hill? Can you give us your name? One, two, three. Let's see. Maybe they're a little more talkative. Perhaps. That back. There's something there. Yeah. Is the principal here? No, he's not. Okay, Tom. What year did you graduate? Can you say all the hell? Nothing. Nothing too clear now. A little bit, a little bit here, a little bit there, but nothing super, super clear. But again, that would make sense if they're standoffish. Right. They're a little bit afraid of us, and they don't want to get that close. Or if it is mostly residual down here, right. they're not going to, you know, respond right. to our questions. Let's see what this one got. Is the music box again? Mm -hmm. That was weird. It went off when I played the question yeah. back. Let me try it again. Can you see all the renovations they've done to the school? What year did you graduate? Do you like having people in here trying to talk to you? Or does it scare you? There's something there. Yeah, it's a couple words. I can't make it out. It's like, it's like bump, 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 bump. Yeah. Do you like having people in here trying to talk to you? Or does it scare you? Can you say, all of hell? Can you give us your name? Nothing's Nothing's there besides that, but there's definitely a response after that one. You just, I can't make out what it's saying. Yeah, it's multiple syllables. I mean, they, they might be down there by the, the cages. Right. Let's go do one more down there. Yeah. Let's do a couple more questions down there, and then we'll we'll head upstairs. And we'll do an Estes session. Yeah. See if that's any easier for them again, because they don't know, right? Like they're not used to people coming in here. Right. This and spot's using so new. All of this equipment, they might not know how to. Right. I don't know. It's, it's been it's weird. Footsteps for sure. Upstairs. Upstairs, yeah. The, and sound like a chair dragon. Yeah, the chair dragon. Yeah. And the minute we stepped away from that end of the hallway, yeah. both the music box. The same yeah. thing down here, though. Right. True. All right, we're going to ask you a few questions, okay? And then we're going to leave you alone. We'll go upstairs. I'm just going to ask you a few more if you're down here still. All right? You can stay in there. You don't have to come out here. Ready? Yep. One, two, three. Are you hiding down here from the principal? You just try to sneak up the stairs? Can you see us right now? Do you remember who was here with us earlier? Can you say his name? One, two, three. You hear something upstairs? No, right as we focus our attention over here, one of the no probe lights went off. Oh, really? Yeah. I didn't see blue. It. I'm trying to be like, we gotta get out of here. <laughs> we gotta leave. I don't want to adapt it. <laughs> I gotta leave, and it goes, yep, <laughs> yep, yes, I do. Sure do. Gotta go. Interesting, though. All right, let's see. Are you hiding down here? Can you see us right now? Do you remember who was 
Yes, I can. Something upstairs. I thought I said I went upstairs or something upstairs. I went upstairs. Hmm. I thought I said upstairs. I'm not sure what though. It was like something upstairs. I went upstairs or they're, they up, they're upstairs or. That's kind of like a sarcastic response though. Can you yeah. see us? I went upstairs. How am I supposed to see you? I cannot see you through the floor. Yeah. Okay, a little right. sassy up in here. Damn. Are you hiding down here from the principal? Hmm. What was that? Hello. Are you hiding down here from the principal? Get out of. Are you hiding down here from the principal? Get out of this. Can't make it out. Get out of this something. Are you hiding down here? Get out of this something. That's like a full sentence yeah. right there, too. Are you hiding down here from the principal? You're trying to sneak up the stairs? Can you see us right now? That's a clear voice, yeah. too. That's very vocal. You're trying to sneak up the stairs? Can you see us right now? He's coming? It's like quick he's coming or, yeah. or something he's coming. Mm -hmm. Can you see us right now? Quick he's coming? Do you remember who was here with us earlier? Can you say his name? Music box. Quick he's coming in the music box. So yeah. again, music box. Who's who's coming down here? Is it the principal? Are you trying to warn us that the principal's on his way? Are you going in there to hide from him? Is that why? We're not supposed to be down here? Set that off again if we should come in there and hide. Is that who you're hiding from? Or are you hiding from somebody else? That was loud. That was right yeah. in there. That was in this room. Are you hiding in there? Are you avoiding somebody? Should we hide too? It was right in this room. Yeah, that was loud. Is it dangerous for us to go up to the auditorium? We're going to go upstairs now. Is that okay? Yeah? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> like, you do what you want. I, I'm hiding. <laughs> Live your life, man. Yeah, I mean, you, you, you'll be down here. You go up there. I'm going down here. All right, we're going to go upstairs. We're going to go in the auditorium. We're going to try to talk to you using a different method, okay? It might be easier for you to communicate with us. So feel free to come upstairs, okay? Or if you're scared of the principal and don't want to go upstairs, I mean... Yell. Yeah. Really loud. Slam a door. All right, ready? Yeah, let's go. Let's do it. Really quick, guys, if you're enjoying this video, make sure you drop down below and give us a like. Because if we get 3,000 likes on this video, we're going to head to Nevada and go to the Goldfield High School. So guys, drop a like. Let's get back in the video. All right, guys, so we moved upstairs. We're in the auditorium now. I'm going to go under for an ESSA session here up on the stage. Dylan's going to be out in the middle of the basketball court, essentially. There's some bleachers back there. A um, lot of reports of, of voices, footsteps, shadow figures in here. Um, so it's going to be an interesting session, I think. I'm wondering yeah. if Estes will be a good way for them to communicate. Um, it might be easier than them for them to use instead of, you know, some of the other equipment we have. Right. Um, even just sitting in here, this is like a break area, basically, where we set up. Just sitting in here, kind of getting ready for the investigation. We've already heard voices, we've yeah. heard footsteps, so I'm excited to see what yeah. we get. So I'm gonna go under, he's gonna be walking around, he's got some equipment set up, he'll show you that while I'm getting ready, and uh, we'll just see what we can get in here. Yeah, let's do it. Let's go. All right, so they have kind of a setup for Christmas right now, all these trees and whatnot. Um, like we said earlier, it is kind of like a community center now. Um, but right over here, um, near the doorway here, I have the music box set up, so we know if anyone's coming in trying to join us. And then back here near the bleachers, I set up a REM pod. So, uh, you know, if anyone's up watching a game, perhaps, they can set it off for us. But I'm going to try to stay kind of central because we have been hearing a lot of noises uh, localized up here into the bleachers. But this is the REM pod right here. It's so really quick. My name is Dylan. Up on the stage is Steve. He has headphones on and he's listening for you to talk to him. What we're here to do tonight is talk to you. We just want to have hey. a conversation. Say hey. Hey. 
We just want to have a conversation with you. If you're not in any trouble, we'd love to hear how the school was. If you did well here, if you struggled, if you enjoyed your classes, if you enjoyed being a teacher. Your what? My what? I'm Dylan. I don't think I said I'm anything. I'm just a visitor here to talk to you. If you're up in the bleachers up here, feel free to come down and join us on the basketball. Leave. That was a female voice very clearly. Leave. Leave? Why do you want us to leave? We don't mean any disrespect. We just want to talk to you for a little bit, have a conversation. Is that okay? Something on the bleachers, yo. Sounds like it's like in the back of the bleachers, just sitting up there. If you're sitting in the back row up there, can you come up and touch this red light right here? All it's gonna do is light up, and make some noise. It's not gonna hurt you. None of these devices that we have tonight are gonna hurt you. Leave. That was an, it was a different female voice, but it was another female voice, and it said, leave. Consistently all night, we've been getting um, kind of like standoffish responses, right? We'll walk down the hallway, they'll stop using the equipment. The minute we walk away, the equipment starts going off again. So, I mean, it is very new for them, but I feel like other locations that we go to, they're a little more receptive. You know, they're trying to talk to Take us. Take them back? Take them back? Take who back? We take the, what back? The people. The people? Us? Do you want us to leave? Are you just wording it differently? What the hell was that? Wording it differently? What the hell was that? Wording it differently? What the hell was that? That was like someone like walked down. Yo, that was so loud. That was on the wood for sure. Can't even see still. That was like someone just walked down the stairs, like walked down the bleachers. That was freaking nuts. Sorry, who I got is that? Me. Very quick. Who is that? Who is that? I don't. You tell me. I don't know. I don't know who that was. If you're up here on the bleachers, can you walk down here to this red light? Just gotta touch the top of it. Just like that. It'll light up, make that noise. It's pretty cool. Female voice couldn't make it out. A lot of female voices up here. Are you scared to talk to us? By the door? By the door? Are you by the door the over hall? here? Okay, walk over here. We have a device set up by the door facing the hall. This little music box right here. If you step in front of it, it's gonna light up and play some music. Wave your hand in front of it, walk by it. Run at it. Well, don't run at it. That's a bit much, but... Are you saying by the other door, like by the entrance? The, what was dude? Like by the entrance. The, what was dude? Like by the entrance. The, what was dude? That's so loud. What? That's what I'm saying. What was that? <laughs> Is there someone up on the bleachers right now? Walking around? It's them. It's them. Who's them? Some of the students here? Is there a game going on right now that we're interrupting? No. No. So what are they doing up on the bleachers then? Is that a voice? It sounded like a male voice up here. It was like a single word. I couldn't tell what it said. Who's that? That's what I'm saying. Who's that? Who's up there? That's what I'm trying to ask you. Is it by this door, maybe? Are you walking towards this exit over here? I don't know what to make of this. We're not going to be here much longer. We're going to spend some time here in the auditorium. And then we're going to head downstairs. That's going to be the end of the night for us. That was weird. Everything went away and it was a male whisper. It was two words. I couldn't make it out. It was, it was, that was really, really weird actually. Do you not want us to go down into the basement, those hallways downstairs? Help. Help? How can we help you? Get them rid? Help, help get them rid? Help get them rid? 
Get rid of what? Is there something here, something negative? We've been told that the, the principal is kind of a more um, intimidating spirit, right? Um, he's very stern in life, so I would assume he'd be very stern in the afterlife as well. Is there something other than the principal that's here? I don't know if you're walking near me, but I can feel like vibrations. It literally feels like footsteps like approaching me from my left side. I'm quite far, so. This spot's been very, very interesting so far. So initially it seemed like there's a lot of residual stuff. Um, but again, the intelligence of it is they're avoiding us. You know what I mean? Like we walk down the hallway, they immediately stop setting off the equipment. Um, but when we return to where we were, we give them some space. They start interacting with us again. That seems, it's been doing it all night. I mean, even in here, there's noises over on the bleachers. I walk over the bleachers, the noises. Behind? Stop. Behind. Are you behind me? Are you behind Steve? The guy on the stage. 1950? That was a pretty deep male voice. It was like 1950. Is that your graduating class? 1950? Because if it is sort of like a residual activity or if it's a different plane of existence, maybe it's 1950 for them, right? They're walking around class of 1950. They see the school as it was when it was in operation. Maybe they didn't see all the years of abandonment and all the work. Who's that? Had. That was another person that was like yelling. Who's that? If you're just joining us, my name is Dylan. My friend Steve over here is on the stage. He's sitting in a chair. He's listening for your voice. If you speak to him, he's going to repeat whatever you tell him so that I can hear, okay? We mean you no harm, no disrespect. We just wanna come in here and have a conversation with you. I know it's probably very confusing, it's very new to you, but we love the history that this school has. Walking? I'm walking around, yes. Is that okay, that we're walking? These halls? Are you saying that you're walking? You're walking around, you're walking towards us. It's okay if you are. Now it feels like there's footsteps in my right. I could feel, like I could literally feel the vibration on the stage. It's, it, it felt like it was right over here. So it's like they're walking towards him then. Yeah, that's fine, you can walk up to him. Speak right to him, he should it's be- It's not like a female said Steve, it was like Steve. Yep, that's him. So if you speak to him, he's gonna repeat whatever you tell him so that I can hear, we can have a conversation that way. I know it sounds really, really weird, but we can't see you and we can't hear you most of the time. I'm trying to keep my eye on the Dylan. Music. That's me, yep, I'm Female Dylan. voice again. Hi, how are ya? Pleased to make your acquaintance. Right after my high school year, I graduated in 2020, okay? Again, I'm not sure if you know what year it is currently, it's 2023. Right after high school, I went into the army. What did you do? Or have you not graduated yet? Because a lot of these locations that we've hit this year, or this past year, I guess now, 2023, people say- Can you see me? They see me? I can't see you, no. But people say um, they go back to where they were the happiest in life, right? Like the Emory Estate. He went back there because he was, he was so happy there. That was his heaven. So what if they had a great time in high school and they just had so many great memories here, this is where they came back to. Another noise on the bleachers, dude. Am I on the right track? Did you have a great time in high school? Him. Who's him? We got he's coming downstairs in the cage. Right under the stage here. Maybe he, whoever this is, him, is the negative spirit. He's coming. He's like the enforcer maybe for this location. I don't know. Want dude. to? Want to what? At least with the Estes, it seems like they're kind of uh, more apt or more willing to talk to us. It seems like they're trying at least, but throughout the entire night, they've been very reluctant to use equipment. Get away. That was weird, it was like, get away. Do you want me to step back from the stage? I can do that, that's fine. People. Yo, that was a loud voice. Holy moly. I really hope the mic picked that up. That was so loud, dude. It was a yell, it was literally a yell. It sounded like a male, like a, I don't even know how to describe, like a male yelling. That's literally the only thing I can think of. Okay, so if I just heard you yell, can you tell Steve yes? Or you heard me or something to that effect? Can you confirm that I just heard you? Dude, that was so loud. Literally sounded like it just like a yell, either in pain or 
frustration. I don't even know how to describe it. That was so loud though. Are they? So one thing we've talked about a little bit too, we use lav mics, so it's right on my, uh, my collar here. With you? I think with you. Is who with me? So we use lav mics, in the right? chair? Are they with you? I mean, Steve Down? I, down. The chair down? Yo, this almost sounds like they're trying to reprimand someone, right? Like downstairs in the cage, it seems like someone was trying to hide from the principal, right? It almost sounds like it's, it's the principal that came up. He's like, are they with you? This person down here in the chair. Did you catch someone down in the cage under us? That shouldn't have been there? Did they get in trouble? Anyway, as I was saying, we use lab mics, right? They're on my collar right here, as you can see. Um, so we're trying to find a happy medium where we can um, like amplify all these noises that we hear because uh, like in the mind, for example, the mind Female video, voice just came through and said two things, but I couldn't make them out. Um, Same voice. We heard a lot of disembodied voices, but the lavalier mics focus on us rather than the noises around us. So we're trying to find a happy medium. Um, we can get like a shotgun mic that can uh, pick up these noises. So we're working on it, guys, trust us. Pretty soon here, I'm gonna tap Steve. He's gonna take the headphones off. We're gonna head downstairs. We're gonna head down to those hallways, okay? Down on the main level. If you have any final messages, any final words, if you wanna tell me something to pass on to Marshall and Jada and the staff here, now's your time. Leave. <laughs> Leave. Do you not like having visitors? Is it weird to you still? Having these people come in here and try to talk to you? Do you want to understand? With you? Both? Leave with you both? I mean, we've had people follow us before. Are you saying you want to leave this school? You want to join us wherever we go next on the road? I'm going to tap Steve in just a second here, though. We're going to head downstairs, OK? That's not like a yell, female female yeah all right we're gonna head downstairs again if you want to join us downstairs and talk to us a little bit more it's where we're going to round out the night okay hello okay so that concerns me because i didn't feel you walk up no and i could feel dude the footsteps the first time they were like right over here yeah and the next time it literally felt like somebody walked right up here that's wild and i was thinking, I was like there's no way it's been that long yet because you had said walking before too it, dude, i could feel them i could feel them right here like it felt like somebody came like these ones were way closer it yeah. felt like they walked up like right next to me it was very I was expecting you to tap me out i did not no i don't think there's stairs on that side either but it was very interesting because um it seemed like there are a lot more uh willing to talk to us this entire time. There was um, a lot of voices. Yeah, there's a lot of noises out here too. There? At one point it sounded like it was a guy yelling, like clear as, it was a loud yell. I really hope the mic picked it you up. You heard I, a yell? Yeah, like oh. clear like clear as day. It was a guy yelling. I couldn't tell if it was like frustration or like right, pain, but right. it echoed. Was it in here? Yeah, yes. for sure. And you kept saying over by the door and then, um, like someone was like stomping their feet or running down the stairs on the bleachers. Okay. There was a lot of noises going on in here. Think about how much energy would have been in this gymnasium, in this right. auditorium back when it was an operation, right? The sports, the plays, the, everything went on in here. Yeah. I mean, this was a, a busy, busy area. You right? said class of 1952 or 1950. Yeah, I said 19, it was so weird. It was a guy's voice that went like 1950. Yeah. So it was I, weird. It's like, are they in a parallel timeline right now right. where it's 1950? Right. This school is operational. Right. You know? Weird. I don't weird. know. I don't know. But time to head downstairs. Let's do it. All right, guys, if you've been enjoying tonight's investigation here at the Olive Hill High School down here in Kentucky, do not forget, drop down below, hit that subscribe button, turn on the notification bell so you are notified every single week when we upload a brand new investigation. We've been going to some of the most amazing locations all over the U.S. You're not going to want to miss it. So make sure you subscribe. Now let's get into this next session. All right, guys, so move downstairs. Now we're on the, like, the main level, um, the hallway right here. To our left is actually the main entrance where the gentleman had his life taken, unfortunately. And we have uh, devices blanketing this entire hallway. To my right, um, we have the music box set up. Um, we have REM pods, mel meters stretching all the way down to the rest of the hallway. In this area, it's where uh, Kalani actually caught the scream. And these uh, lockers right here are actually known to open and close and slam throughout the day. So uh, we'll see if we can pick that up. It'd be yeah. pretty cool. I mean, if we get the same scream Kalani did, that'd be pretty insane, actually. Yeah. Um, if you guys haven't yet, go check out his stuff. He's got great videos as well. We're in a couple nice. of them, so check those out. But uh, the scream here was really weird. I yeah. mean, the thing he caught was absolutely incredible. So um, 
I hope we catch it. That'd be, I mean, yeah, it's kind of like, kinda. I want to hear it, but yeah. then if I hear it, I'm going to be kind of sad. Yeah. So. yeah. But if you want to scream, you can. It's yeah. like I, say, I st wanted to scream a lot in school. It's free fine. country, you know. All right. So let's, uh, we'll do some DR60s down here for sure, too. Yeah. We'll definitely ask. Another really cool thing, too, over here, um, they actually have all of the trophies and the, the awards um, the school had won. And a REM pod. And a REM, well, no meter. No meter, nearly. Can you grab the top of that device right there? See the light up, make some noise. Same with these red lights right down here, down the hall. They're not gonna hurt you. You're not in any trouble if you grab them. We're not gonna tell the teachers, we're not gonna tell the principal that you're out this late. What was that? What'd you hear? It was like a beep, but it was down here. Imposter. It sounded like a, it sounded like the mouth. Like a mimic almost? Yeah, it sounded like the millimeter, but it came from definitely down here to my left. Oh. Hello? Our friend Kalani was here recently, and somebody screamed down here. Is that person here tonight? Can you say something for us? Was that the music box? What was that? It was like a, something like a music box, like yeah. a single turn. I don't know what that was. But the light didn't come on. No. Well, actually, yeah. What was that? That's what I mean. So that I heard was... what sounded like the melmeter down there, and then we just heard what sounded like the music box, but the music box didn't go off, and there's not even a melmeter down there. Right. That's weird. Are you trying to lure us down into that other hallway? Why you got to say lure? Uh, lure is just a that's scary that, word. That's what I mean. But that's like the unimproved hallway, right? Yeah. It definitely looks a lot scarier. Mm -hmm. Are you down in that, that hallway? Just that noise again? Yeah. But the light didn't come on. No. Hello? No, is this one right behind us? Yeah. Surrounded. As per usual. Can you make a really loud noise? Slam one of these lockers, yell, run down the hallway or walk. You can walk too, that's fine. Yeah, no running in the halls. What was what that? Yeah, that? that was way louder. In the hallway or walk, you can walk too, that's fine. Yeah, no running in the halls. What was what that? Is yeah, that? that was way louder. In the hallway or walk, you can walk too, that's fine. Yeah, no running in the halls. What was what that? Is yeah, that? that was way louder. That was way louder. It almost sounded like a cough. First thing I thought it was someone going yeah. like, <laughs> Are you sick? Is that footsteps? I didn't hear that one. That was loud. Did you hear that one? Yeah, that was right there. It sounded like it was on the wood. Yeah. Can you slam one of these lockers? They're unlocked. What is that? What is Every time we go near the activity tonight, it seems to stop though. Right. Hello? What is this? Hello? <laughs> what is this? I can't it's... see. It's very dark in here. Oh, golly. One of the downsides to filming an IR, guys. We can't see anything. This is how dark it is. Like, little bit of light from that exit sign. That's it. Hello? That was behind, that was behind you. Yeah. So it's like, it's just like he said though. They give they lead you, you one way. Yeah. He's like then, breadcrumbs. Right. They give you just enough to get your attention and lure you down. And then bring again. you another way. Yeah. Lure you down. That was down in that classroom yeah. at the end. That was definitely down there. For sure. This way. We're just here to talk to you, okay? Who can make a louder noise? Which side of the hallway? This is your extra credit. Slam one of these lockers. Whoever's louder wins for tonight. That'd be cool, but I feel like I'd be kind of upset that it happens. Yep. Which it's one is that? The same one again, right in the left. Yeah? By the trophies. That's pretty That's good. back in here. Yeah. What is going on? No, I don't know. Whoever's down here, whoever can hear our voice, on the count of three, make a noise as loud as you can wherever you are. I'm gonna count to three, okay? One, two, three. I said I will not. <laughs> three and a half. Slam a door, scream. Music, Music box. box. Yeah. At the far end. All the way at the end. Why do they want us to like, get our steps in today? I don't understand. 
Have you seen the hill out front? That's true, yeah. I'm not doing that. What was it 102 or 103 steps, something crazy? 100 too many. Yep. That was loud. That was right here. That was in that last classroom. It echoed in that last classroom. And the music box again. Who can make the louder noise? That's pretty good. So that's the music box for real. Who is that? That's kind of scary. Okay, now whoever's down here, can you make a noise again in this classroom? I'm curious, if we go this way, will it happen? Right. Right, so let's go towards the music box. Well, we're gonna go down this way. Yeah, clearly this side's being a lot louder. Be a shame if something happened behind us. I would hate for a locker to slam. I actually would. We're gonna come down here by whoever this is. Man, it looks like they want some extra credit. Can you step back so that stops making that noise? Come out here. Why would that all of a sudden? It's like someone's just standing there. Right. I can't tell. Did you just hear that voice? No. You didn't hear that voice? I didn't hear that. Oh boy. What does it sound like came oh, from? Oh boy. What does it sound like? Uh, <laughs> a little I didn't kid. hear it. How did you not hear that? I don't know. I okay. heard, uh, heard my feelings. What does it sound like? A little kid. Oh no. Okay. Yeah. What, like this side? Or? Uh, it just like echoed. It like emanated. It emanated I don't, from the walls. They're in the lockers. <laughs> don't even say that. That's not funny. <laughs> That was so loud, how did you not hear that? Because I was focusing, I feel like I keep seeing, like there's a little bit of ambient light at the far end of the hallway. It looks like it keeps getting blocked out. I don't know how you did. That's loud. Now it's back down there. Yeah. What is going on down here? That's what's so interesting too. Like the entire night, it seems like they've been reluctant to talk to us. They're kind of like, like hesitant. Guess what? Come down here, they're like, this place haunted. <laughs> Check this out. Class is in the session, brother. I didn't hear that voice. Can you yell again for me, please? It hurt my feelings. I guess my listening ears weren't on. Might come down there and turn that off for a second so we can hear. Is that okay? Why am I going down here? Bye, Steve. Everybody comment, bye, Steve. Hey. <laughs> Hi, guys. Just gonna. Turn this off real quick, okay? Just turn it off, Lee. Just gonna just for a minute, one minute, okay? Well, I hope you hear that voice because that was ridiculous. All right, we're giving the other side a shot now. They were just pretty loud. Then the music box running. I like stepped back when I heard that voice. I was like, I need to not be in the middle. <laughs> I'm in danger. I'm in danger. It chuckles. I'm in danger. Hello. It's like a whistle. I heard that yeah. one. Yeah. Can you whistle again? Man, it looks like the right side is really winning. Well, my left side for you, yeah. I guess. But what are you guys gonna do? Do something big. You gotta one up them. Another whistle. Did you hear that noise down there? Like a whistle and a knock? Yeah. Yeah. It was like movement. That was down this way. All right. That was pretty good. I feel like you can be a little bit louder than that, though. Use your outside voice. This hallway just feels weird. Yeah, it does. I just like, I'm expecting to see somebody. Right. And that's weird. Like, I haven't felt that in a while. No. At a place. Like, when I just walked down here, I literally expected to like tr look over here and there would be somebody standing there. Just, I feel like aesthetically this hallway in particular is just also a lot darker than the rest, it's right? It's creepy down here, but I, I don't even think that has to do with it. It was that, it's just like a very strong sensation that you're gonna see somebody. Right. It feels like occupied yeah. down here. I, I expected to see somebody when I just walked by there. Is there someone over here by the, the trophy cases? Did Steve pick up on that? Make a loud noise or set off this device if someone's over here with us. It's okay if you are. Okay. Oh my Yo. God. Literally, that's, that's wild. what I mean. Yeah. It's, and it's that one right there. Right. So it's like, why are they more comfortable with us down here? Right. Is it because we've been in here for so long? Right. At this point, we've been here all day. Right. We got here at like 3.30. Yeah. We, literally all day yeah. we've been here. Can you step away from that now, please? If I, if I felt you over here? 
That's, that's a nuts. Joke. That's absolutely insane. Thank you so much. You're doing great. Are you attached to the trophies over here? Are you proud of your accomplishments? Or that's where that guy was. Yeah, that's true. He was right outside that door. Oh, I just got chills. That's, yeah, that's the front that's entrance the right here. the same talk that we had at, at Bentonville. Yeah. Are they just drawn to, I mean, he passed away right here, but he, would, he probably didn't, he might have gone to the school. Right. I don't know. True. You know what I mean? Is it like a beacon? People right. come in here, they ask questions, right. and he goes, I can tell my story if right. I go in there. Right. Is that the case? Do you no, feel? These are the cases right here. They built them in the wall for the trophies. <laughs> Do you feel drawn to this location because you can tell your story? It's back down, it's down there. there, yeah. That's why we're here. We want to document your story, your life, what you experienced here. Maybe you didn't even go here. You didn't experience anything here. You just want to tell your story. That's fine too. Yeah, I mean, it could be anybody in the area. Again, yeah. if it works like a beacon or something like right. It's like insidious. You open the door and everybody right. just flocks. Right. I mean, you that's know? way scarier, but yeah. Yeah, it's terrifying, yeah. but. What if our equipment, what if it's our energy coming in to find these places is like the guy in Insidious carrying the lantern, you know what right. I mean? Like leading people to these places. Yeah. Hello? Mighty scary. <laughs> Are we on the right track? Can you make a loud noise or set off one of these devices if we have the right idea? Are you guided here by people's energy that come here to communicate with you? Oh, there's, there's another whistle, yeah. 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 Does it draw you in? What? That was so loud. What was that? I don't, was it what like a knock on one of the- It sounded like it was on the lockers yeah. right behind you. It was a I, deep, deep thud. It was like boom. Yeah. It was right there. I thought it was literally right behind you. Ooh, I just got, wow, full body chills. That was scary. <laughs> okay. Can you slam one of these lockers? That'd be kind of nuts. Yeah. If you're feeding off our energy, if you're drawn here, we give you power by visiting this spot. Use that energy, slam one of these doors. Scream. Show yourself. Well, let's not get too crazy. Well, I already, I'm telling you, man, I literally like, I expected to look, I don't know why, but I was like, it, my mind wasn't even like, it's a ghost, right? right? Like I was like, for some reason, I thought we were gonna come around that corner and there was gonna be somebody standing outside. I mean, like a person. You had that instinct though, right? Like right. you walk into a room and there's just an argument, it's yeah. tense. You that, know? It, it, it wasn't scary. I wasn't like, oh, I'm gonna get a jump scare. I was like, I expected to walk around the corner and look and just have somebody standing out there. And then I realized we're on the top of a hill. Right. You and know what I mean? It's not like it's like a sidewalk that somebody can just be standing on. You have to physically walk up a very steep hill to get up here. Right. That, it was a weird sensation. And then that thing went off and it hasn't gone off again since. Yeah. And I said, can you step away and it stopped? Well, if they're just attracted to it, if it's like a beacon, us right. talking, maybe they come here, they say, hey, right. what's up? And then they leave. They're like, and we're out. Yep. These guys, right. These guys are kind of weird. weird. Yeah. These guys are strange. It's getting kind of late. Getting kind of cold. Who's down there? Who's down there? Man, down Both there. sides. I don't understand. Hello? Can you say hello? It was like another like deep, like grumbly sort of noise. It was down there. My iron light just died. Iron light died? Yeah. It's literally dead. Yeah. And that goes off. It's fully dead. 100%. It just kicked back on. It's got zero battery showing. Yeah. Did you use the energy? Yeah. yeah it just died. literally just died. That's yeah. crazy. Did you use the energy from that light? Are you building up to do something to interact with us? Yeah, it, it won't even turn on all the way. It no. turns on and dies right away. It's okay if you have to do that. Just use that energy, do something big. Make a noise. Move one of these doors, yell. We really want to hear your voice again. Should we do some DR60s? Yeah, we can try it. Let's do a couple, couple of those. those. Yeah. All right, we have these devices in our hands, okay? If you come up to them and speak into them, we should be able to hear your voice. It makes it easier for you to communicate with us. Get as close to them as you can, speak as loudly and as clearly as you can, and we should be able to hear you. We're gonna ask you a few questions. We'd love to get some answers, okay? All right, here we go. On the count of three, we're gonna ask you some questions, okay? One, two, three. Who was standing over by the trophies here? 
Did you drain Steve's light so you could have some power? Is the principal walking in the halls tonight? Is there a reason you're more comfortable with us being down here? Have you gotten used to us tonight? Three. It was that like was a, like, it a, was like a faint voice. Yeah, like female or higher pitched. Yeah, like a child. Yeah. I don't know what that was again. Similar to the one I heard earlier though. Let's play these back. Yeah. Who was what? I can't make that out. It was something. It was bone. Yeah. I can't make out that last one. The first one's like, it was something. Yeah. I can't make it out. There's no. responses though. There's yeah. definitely responses. They're trying, yeah. you know? It's similar to the Estes, they're trying to yeah. communicate. I don't know. Two chairs, yeah. Two syllables. Yeah. Bah, bah. Mm -hmm. Tell it's, it's like I don't know, I can't make it out. No. But there's definitely responses. Yeah. Let's do one more. Let's ask a few more questions and then we'll get out of their hair. Yeah. We'll call it a night. It's just so weird how it's developed throughout the entire night. Like the development of them not wanting to be anywhere near us right. to now they're making noises on request. Going and, off right next to us with yeah. the equipment. You know, what I mean, they're here. Like you can feel them. There is something in this building. Right. Would you hear something again? Yeah, I don't know what that is. I couldn't tell if it was. A voice? It almost sounded like singing. That's not scary. It's like, Ooh. All right, we're gonna ask you a few more questions, then we're gonna leave you alone, okay? There's another noise down yeah, there. Yeah, I heard that right one. Down here. All right, we're gonna ask you a few more, okay? So come up and talk to us as loud and as clear as you can, okay? And we're gonna leave you alone after this. I'll walk over here a little bit, like into the trophy case area. All right. Here we go. One, two, three. Can we have the name of the gentleman who lost his life outside? Are you attached to one of the trophies here? Did you win one of these awards? Before we go, can you say good night or goodbye? Do you want us to come back here and talk to you again? What was the name of the principal who was very strict? Can you yell or scream? One, two, three. They're here. So again, they're comfortable to the point where right. they can they're walk next, next to, us. to us at this point. Yeah. Maybe it's just different, whoever's down here. I mean, there could be different people in different areas. Maybe right. just whoever's down here is more comfortable. Right. You know? It's weird. I don't know. Let's play this back.
Good night. Yeah. yeah. It was good night. Yeah. Like, hey, good night. Yeah, it's time for you guys to leave. Give me a hand to late. Let's see what this one got. Can you the name of the gentleman who lost his life outside? Are you a cat? No. Can you the name of the gentleman who lost his life outside? Are you a cat for all the trophies here? Did you win one of these awards? Before we go, can you say good night? Nothing. Nothing really on that one. Yeah. It's weird. But they're definitely down here. Right. They're definitely more willing to communicate in this area of the building. So I feel like this is such a new location, you know, they yeah. almost have to warm up to you a little bit. Yeah. I don't know. They definitely seem like they did. Um, the, the voice I heard, mm -hmm. the whistling, the footsteps, the equipment going off, the music box, that going off, that feeling of being, having somebody being over here, man, it was so strong. Yeah. It was such a strong feeling. It was really, really bizarre. The knocks down in that room. I mean, there was a ton of stuff going on down here. Yeah, and it sounded like someone knocked on the lockers behind me, right too. Right behind you. That Big was such thought. a loud thud, yeah. So, yeah. I don't know. I think we give them back their school. We call it a night. We wrap it up. We got a lot of driving to do on this road trip. Uh, so, uh, stick with us, guys. You got a lot of cool locations coming up here, but it's time to get the road and uh, go to bed. Yeah, let's do it. Let's go. All right, guys, that is officially a wrap here on the Olive Hill High School in Kentucky. What a weird, weird night. Yeah, this place definitely uh, delivered something I wasn't really expecting, um, but it's a new location of the paranormal. They seemed very reluctant to talk to us at the beginning, but kind of warmed up to us at the end. Yeah, they were standoffish. There was things happening, but it was, if you get too close, we're not gonna talk to you, so right. move away a little bit. At the end of the night, it was, we'll set the thing off next to you, we'll whistle, we'll, we'll say things, we'll walk around, like yeah. everything was happening. It was all relatively close to us down there. Right, I find it interesting too, when we were here earlier with Marshall, pretty much all the equipment was going off, yeah. but they're familiar with him. He's been here so often, right. he was one of the first teams yeah. in here to investigate, you know? Yeah. So, I don't know, it's a really cool location that I think we should revisit at some point, but I think it's time to get back on the road and uh, see what the road has to offer. Yeah, these schools haven't been letting us down. Yeah. Uh, there's more of them to hit, but we got, like you said, a lot more places to hit. Let's get on the road, figure out where we're going next, and uh, get some sleep. Yeah, let's do it. Let's go.